As Executive Director of Origin, the National Centre of Excellence in Youth Mental Health, I'm really excited to present the 2015 Annual Report. Thanks to a huge vote of confidence by the Australian Government, we have now become Origin, the National Centre of Excellence in Youth Mental Health. We're now able to partner with our colleagues in other parts of Australia, other research centres, other clinical programs who are focused on youth mental health, and together we're going to be able to improve the access and quality of care for young people all over the country. A really welcome development is the fact that both federal and state governments are now supporting our work much more strongly. The Victorian state government has committed $60 million to build a new facility for Origin at the Parkville Centre campus. This is long overdue and a very welcome shot in the arm for our work. In the 2015-16 federal budget, an allocation of $19 million was made to support a number of trial centres to translate the individual placement and support model for a vocational recovery, which was based on research carried out here at Origin. The research program at Origin is the largest youth mental health research program in the world. Each year we produce close to 200 publications in peer-reviewed journals and we attract millions of dollars to support innovative research in youth mental health. In the previous year we initiated the Early Psychosis Research Network in Australia and this is to take advantage of the new infrastructures emerging uh, to support early psychosis care in every state and territory. This will give Australia an, another huge competitive advantage in conducting research in early intervention and psychosis. Another highlight this year was the election of our colleague Professor Helen Herman as the President of the World Psychiatric Association. Our Skills and Knowledge Division has been strengthened greatly by the advent of the National Centre for Excellence in Youth Mental Health and we conduct a range of, of training and educational activities across the spectrum of youth mental health. One of the highlights this year has been our continuing support for the National Early Psychosis Reform. We've conducted a number of uh, training exercises and workforce development programs for this emerging workforce which is carrying out such vital work helping young people to recover from psychotic illnesses all around Australia. One of the key features of our Skills and Knowledge Division is our Graduate Education Program. We offer a range of courses right up to a Masters in Youth Mental Health through the University of Melbourne. One of the things we're most proud of here at Origin is our clinical service system. We operate four headspace sites across the northwest of Melbourne and we interface very closely with the Origin clinical program through the Melbourne Health. This is a unique system in Australia still and, and um, it offers uh, early intervention and high quality clinical care to young people living in the northwest of Melbourne. I work in these services myself and I can see firsthand the, the benefits that they're providing to young people and their families across this part of Melbourne. Mental health reform has always been a key part of Origin's mission. For this reason we're very pleased that we now have the Origin Policy Think Tank which is able to provide input into government's thinking on mental health reform. This year we produced four white papers on various aspects of youth mental health policy. In the next 12 months we'll be producing another four pieces of policy advice to government and we hope that this will help to shape the evolving mental health care system for young people around the country. I, I would really like to thank the Origin Board, our dedicated staff team, our partners nationally and internationally and all the families and young people who have contributed so much to our work in the last 12 months.